this one setting that I'm going to tell you will instantly improve your home audio base. You are just one setting away from bass that is cleaner, deeper and more powerful. And guess what? You don't need a subwoofer. You don't need an extra amplifier. Just this one change in your setting. That is enough. First of all, let me tell you the big mistake that is ruining your bass. While you hear that type of muddy or a type of bass that you are not at all interested at you know something most people think their subwoofer is weak their speakers are bad or they need to spend more money to get better bass but the truth is your bass problem is not your equipment it's your crossover setting that is creating those problems the crossover frequency is the key to unlock that deep punchy bass and if you have not yet adjusted that setting then you are losing at least 30 percent of your total bass potential so for those who don't know about crossover what is a crossover a crossover is actually a circuit there are crossovers for high and low frequencies for low frequency that we are talking about bass for low frequency it is a low pass filter and that is actually the crossover and it has a control to adjust the frequency level that we need to that the speakers really need mainly for subwoofers a crossover tells your speakers and subwoofer which frequency they should handle if you set it too high then the subwoofer sounds boomy and muddy and if you set it too low then you will lose those deep bass altogether so for that what you need to fix is that setting as a default it will be almost in the middle for most of the home theaters so it will not be optimized for that real bass performance so here is what you must do is go to your receiver setting find the crossover menu and set it based on your speakers there are certain recommended frequencies for certain speakers, certain type of speakers. Here you can see a bookshelf speaker. Here you can see a three-way type speaker. Here there is a tower speaker. So for all that, there are different frequencies that we need to optimize. We need to set up that. So for such large floor standing speakers, the frequency level must be 60 hertz. For bookshelf type speakers, it will be 80 hertz. For small satellite speakers, there will be satellite speakers that we usually hang on walls. And for such speakers, the crossover frequency level must be around 100 hertz. And finally, for the subwoofer, set it to 80 hertz and adjust from there. Means from 80 to 20. Between that, you need to adjust the, va the value. Most of the speakers may go down, go low to almost 60 to 50 hertz for most speakers. So we need to adjust the crossover setting for subwoofer separately. And that tells your speakers to focus on mids and highs while the subwoofer focuses on the deep bass. So for an example, let me adjust the crossover setting of this 4C audio. We can see that difference.
and finally here is a bonus tip for improving the base level to next level and for that you, you need to do another setting and that is face alignment if your base feels weak just check for that 0 180 switch or 0 180 control there are two types of setting for some amplifier it must be a switch or for some amplifier it must be a control 0 to 180 so while playing or running a test frequency just switch to 0 and 180 and see the difference and keep it in the position at which phase is giving you the best bass response now one more setting that you must take care of that is the gain level gain means the signal that is going to the amplifier it is not the volume control it is the gain it is the signal level that is reaching the amplifier amplifier means that is reaching the crossover that's the point so we need to adjust the gain level to a position where the signal is not clipped or the signal is not too low instead of just maximizing the gain level keep it balanced like it should blend naturally with the speakers after you setting the volume level to a fixed position that you usually hear uh, at that position you must adjust the gain level to uh, to the best sweet point that's the way you should set the gain not to the maximum or not to the low it will not be at the middle it will be somewhere around that and that's it one simple setting change and you just unlocked way better base without spending a single penny now i have a challenge for you adjust your amplifier crossover and tell me in the comments if you have noticed any difference for some subwoofers we can see a crossover point at the at that control level where the signal is connected there may be an rcs connection and there will be controls like crossover gain etc but for certain subwoofers that is active won't have won't have any type of control setting at the rear side of the subwoofer so those settings must be done from the avr usually the avr will do the base management automatically so you don't need to consider uh, bother about any of those base level any of those crossover setting uh, so if you are using an avr and if you want to build your own subwoofer that is active subwoofer powered subwoofer that, then here is the video you can watch it how to build a budget friendly subwoofer active subwoofer to your home itself